Senator, great to have you on The Real Story. I understand that, that this prison that's being looked at in your state of South Carolina has close proximity to a bunch of little kids at an elementary school. And by the way, it's in a residential area. So what is up with that potential plan? Well, Gretchen, you said it right. We're talking about just literally less than a half a mile from Hanahan Middle School. This facility, a medium security facility that would need hundreds of millions of dollars of upgrades to keep it safe. You can't keep it safe is what we're telling the president. What he needs to do is abide by the laws of this country. And the law is very clear and it is simple. You cannot transfer enemy combatants to a domestic location period, much less one that is in a bedroom community, Hanahan, South Carolina, right outside of Charleston. Okay, what so, an awful idea. So, so here's the thing. Uh, the Senate voted on this on November 10th, 2015. It was part of, of the spending bill, right? And, yes. And so uh, do you believe that the president will try to do some sort of a signing statement, executive order, something like that to try and jam this thing through? It is certainly one of our concerns because here's what we realize. The president himself has his signature on this law, and yet he is looking for ways to usurp this law in attempts to passing on what, uh, doing what he said he would do on the campaign trail. So this is about a political campaign promise versus national security for me. The choice could not be easier. It could not be more clear than to keep the enemy combatants right there in Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. It okay. is the only location for it. It's interesting because in the latest Fox News poll, 68% agreed with you. They don't want these prisoners coming to the United States. So we're going to have to see how this plays 